Different parts of the world experience different weather conditions due to the distance of the sun from those areas. While some parts of the world are cold, other parts are hot, but there are other parts of the world where the weather is characterized as extreme. When it comes to extreme cold, there's no better place to experience this frigid region than the world's coldest city. To give you a better idea, here's what it looks like in this extreme part of the Earth. Yakutia is a part of Siberia rich in diamonds, gold, uranium, and other mineral resources. The city is the coldest in the world, with winter temperatures reaching minus 71 degrees Celsius or more. Summers in this extreme region are surprisingly warm and sometimes considered hot, with July recording an average temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. This makes the city the only place in the world with such a high seasonal difference. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will tell you about the coldest place on earth, Yakushia. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to travel without having to endlessly wait until others are ready to grow. Now let's get started. Life in Yakushia. It's fascinating how much people can adapt to whatever life throws at them. You would think that the coldest city in the world is a freezing hell where people walk around with sad faces. But in Yakushia, it is quite the opposite. People are happy here because there are roads, markets, public transport, supermarkets, hotels, cafes, restaurants, and other basic infrastructure that normal cities have. After the freezing hustle and bustle of the day, many people in the city head to the bars and nightclubs where the music and beer are cheerful. Dressing up in Yakushia. People usually need to layer up to stay warm, but on some extremely cold days, even clothing won't help. Only staying indoors can guarantee warmth and safety. Still, people can always be expected to look bigger than their actual size due to the layers of clothing and thick jackets they wear. It generally takes people in Yakushia up to 15 minutes to put on the right amount of clothing to stay safe outside. People are used to extremes. Yakushia experiences an average winter temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and people here can consider it warm as the temperature can drop to minus 71 degrees Celsius or more. The Saka people who mostly inhabit this area are descendants of Turkic nomads. Their small stature makes them highly adaptable to the cold weather here. The reduced height is an advantage for them because they are less likely to lose body heat compared to individuals with increased body size who are more susceptible to the frigid atmosphere. Needless to say, they adapted to the extreme weather. Drinking water and food preservation. The drinking water is from the river, except that the water there is not liquid, but ice. Those who need drinking water simply go there to cut some ice cubes, bring them home, place them in a container, and then break the ice into pieces to dissolve into drinking water. Nobody here needs a freezer. The atmosphere lends itself quite well to this task, and people use it to their advantage. Here, it is common to see food such as fruit and meat hanging from the windows of buildings, as the atmosphere is even more efficient than high-tech freezers. Things freeze so easily. From the trees standing in the streets to every single fish in the markets, most things in this city are frozen so hard. They could have been used to hammer nails into wood. Even the most fragile things like bananas will freeze and become hard as stone. Many items that are typically left outside for more than 10 minutes without warm protective covers are likely to freeze. Nothing is safe from the jaws of the frigid atmosphere. Even boiling water thrown into the air does not return to Earth as a liquid. In most cases, they just immediately turn into ice crystals and then disappear into the atmosphere. Challenges in Yakushia. As expected, the people of Yakushia face some problems due to the extreme weather, but there is always a solution to these problems. Body exposure hazard. People can only reveal parts of their face to see, but this can also lead to frozen eyelids and noses. Gloves are very important and removing them for just five minutes can lead to severe frostbite, which can be as painful as being pierced with hot needles. Here it is dangerous to touch the metal because the skin can stick to the metal and then serious difficulties can arise when trying to break the skin contact with the metal. This is why people don't wear glasses because the metal frame of the glass can stick so hard that it could tear off parts of the skin before it comes off. 
Car Maintenance Cars are essential for getting around Yakutia, but maintaining cars in this frigid city is difficult. Those who keep their cars outside for a long time usually encounter frozen engine oil and vehicles covered in ice, making it difficult to start the engine. Many car owners keep their cars in heated garages to protect their vehicles from the extreme atmosphere. Those who do not have this infrastructure simply leave their cars outside until the summer when the weather allows them to restart their vehicles. City Architecture The architecture in the city is also different from many parts of the world. Large buildings are placed on piers to deal with ice shifts that could disfigure the building. Even buildings built in this way still lean to one side after many years. The pipeline is built above ground. Water and natural gas pipelines are built above ground because it is almost impossible to dig up the ice on the ground and lay the pipeline there. That's what you'd expect from a city that sits on permafrost that's up to 140 meters deep. Outdoor activities in Yakusha. Due to Yakusha's long winter, snow rarely leaves the ground during the year, so people here enjoy a lot of winter activities for up to six months. That's all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to get even more empowered to travel, you need to watch the video in the pinned comment below.